In this video, we'll be covering using Zotero, the desktop application with Google Docs in terms of managing a document and the in-text citations. To start things off, go to Google Docs on the web browser you'll be using uh, to top, type up your document, whether it be Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, or any other web browser. When you installed Zotero, you were, pro you were given the option to install uh, a web application or extension known as Zotero Connector. If you installed that at the top of your Google Docs screen, you should see a little tab that says Zotero. If you don't, just make sure by going to zotero.org, download, and install Zotero Connector. It will detect what web browser you are doing. So in my example, I'm using Chrome. And you'll be able to see that you have it. So once that is set up, make sure you have some references in your Zotero desktop app. And please note, you have to have the Zotero app open if you want to use it with any word processor, including Google Docs, as the extensions will be pulling the references from your Zotero desktop app and placing them into the document. Also, be sure to not, for Mac users, to not minimize it. So if you please do not press the green button to minimize the window, and please do not press the please do not press the yellow button to minimize it, and please do not press the green button to put it in full screen, as this may interfere with the Zotero in-text citation function. It is recommended that you leave it open, click on the application that you'll be referring to. So if you look at the bottom doc, you'll see I have Google Chrome open as well as Zotero. So I'll click on Google Chrome. I already have a sentence in place for my example. And now to place a citation at the end of it, I'll click on the Zotero tab and add edit citation. You will have to be signed in with a Google account. And once you are signed in, it will ask you the citation style that you would like for this document. You can change this later on, so don't panic if you pick the wrong one, but just keep in mind what options are available and more can be added. For this example, I'll be using APA 7th edition. Your window may switch to the Zotero desktop app, but please be careful. Please note if you see a red search box. The red search box will be what you'll use to search for your reference. It will help to know either a keyword used in the title or the author's name. So in this case, I'll be selecting the Borgi article. And once I have that selected, I can click on the reference. And if I am putting, and if I'm using a direct quote from this article, I have the option of adding the page count. And if I already mentioned the article, the author's name in the text and a narrative style citation, then I can check the option for omit author to prevent the redundancy. In my case, I'm happy with what I have, so I'll just click enter. And now it'll it took me back to Google Docs, and you can see at the end the Borgi at all citation is available. Now, if I wanted to generate a matching bibliography, what I would recommend is creating some space between the body of your text and where you would like your references to start. Go back to the Zotero tab in Google Docs and click Add Edit Bibliography.
Now it generated a bibliography based off of what in-text in citations I currently have in a document. So if I had more than one, it would show those, doc those references organized as necessary in APA citation style. From this point forward, if I add any further in-text citations, my bibliography will automatically update. So to show you, I'll go to Zotero, add citation. And this time I'm going to cite multiple citations. So I'm gonna do Cheng and Moria. And now I can click enter. So there's my double citation. And if I go further down, I got, if I scroll further down, I can see the matching bibliographic entries for both articles. In the event that there is an error on the loading bar for the add a citation tool for Google Docs is frozen, please close your Google Docs page and reopen it and try again, as that will soft reset the search bar and hopefully fix the error. 